Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will cover method overloading, which is an important concept in Java. I believe it is also in other, uh, yeah, it is in other programming languages. Uh, at least I know in C and C++ it is present, though I am unsure if it is labeled as overloading or if it has a different name in those programming languages. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawm al-deen. Wa arda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'in Allahumma ameen. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. And we thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions, uh, and his family, sorry as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him and his family. Amen. It is much simpler to say to say this uh, prayer in Arabic. <laughs> Anyways, returning to our topic for the day, uh, I would like to finish this quickly before Fajr time, which is the pre-dawn prayer because I am fasting today. Alhamdulillah, thank God. So I would like to have a meal before fasting which is known as suhoor uh, so what is method overloading well i will not be quick do not worry what i meant is i should uh, focus on the uh, on the recording instead of digressing <laughs> but i will uh, be as detailed as uh, i uh, as i need to be to explain this in an understandable and uh, simple manner hopefully inshallah and god willing what is method overloading? Method overloading is the presence of the same method but with different parameters. Or I should say method name. Or same method name and method implementation or I guess you could say similar implementation but different parameters so this means and this is incredibly important that the method signature is different in overloading why because the method signature includes both the name and the parameters. So if you have diff at, uh, different parameters or a different number of parameters, then automatically the method signature is different as opposed to method overriding where the method signature is the same. I feel to explain this in the best manner possible we should cover an example. So let us return to IntelliJ here. And I will show you the most common uh, method that will highlight method overloading. And of course, we will create our own. We covered constructor overloading. It is exactly the same. The only difference is instead of using constructors, we are using methods. And constructors are technically methods to a degree. Now, if you take a look here at the system dot out dot and we open this uh, option uh, menu for, for, uh, from the IntelliSense, I believe this is also present in Eclipse, this IntelliSense uh, menu. We will see that we have print, 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 and so on and so forth. 
the same method name yet if you look at the parameter it is different this prints a boolean this prints a character this prints a long prints an integer a float a double a character array a string and an object what does that mean that <clears throat> It means that this method print is a flexible method. It covers basically all of the expected uh, parameters or variables that you could use in your program. So if you have a Boolean and you wish to print it, you can. If you have a character and you wish to print it, you can. If you have an integer and you wish to print it, you can also do so. You do not have to create your own print method when you can simply use this. This also applies to print line. As you can see, it accepts an integer. Here it accepts a character. It accepts a long float character array, double object, string, boolean, and so on and so forth. So when you have a method that shares the same name, but does not share the same parameter, or it could have multiple parameters. So this method could have one parameter, this could have two, this could have three, and so on and so forth. This is known as method overloading. So here we have overloaded the print line method by creating various print line methods, each responsible for printing a particular type of variable or a particular type of parameter. So when I, pa when I type in print line here and I wish to pass a string literal, for example, I can. Why? Because it is covered in the list. If I wish to print a number, an integ uh, integral uh, uh, literal, I can, because it is covered in the parameter list. Let us create our own met uh, methods and overload them. So we will go to source here and let us create a student class. Uh, let us see, we will have string first name int courses the number of courses a student is tackling and gpa and since uh, this can be a floating number i left it as double because people rarely use floats particularly because of the suffix the f suffix that we mentioned um, in the variable episode for primitive data types that is so I would like to create a method display info, for example. And in this method, I would like to display the name of the student. And remember, parameters are arbitrarily named, but this is how you can initialize them by saying that whatever you pass here as an argument later on will be assigned to this instance variable and then we will say print name and that is it i can also i will use the zehi way to expedite the process instead of printing the name this time i will print the number of courses and I will simply say courses is equal to courses and courses now here we have the same method name and you can say same if or similar method implementation however the parameters are completely different so this is known as method overloading. We are overloading the method by giving it multiple parameters. Let us overload the method a third time for the GPA. Like so, double GPA, this dot GPA is equal to GPA and we will print the GPA. 
This applies to only a singular parameter. Let us overload the method with multiple parameters this time. So here I would like to print the name and the number of courses a student has. So I will do this and I will do this. And then I will print both. Or actually, let me format this and I will say name and oh, actually, I, I remembered I need to create a lecture for escape characters. I will just write it down quickly on my list so I do not forget because I thought we are almost done with this course and unfortunately it will take longer than expected. <laughs> Not that anyone is watching this, but I do not mind. <laughs> and let us say courses like so, just as an example. This is an overloaded method. Why? Because it differs in parameters and in the parameter number as well. So it does not matter if you have a singular parameter or multiple parameters, as long as you have the same method name and of course the same return type. This is what is known as method overloading. You can do this, overload this method with the third parameter added as well. You can create as many methods as you want or you can overload as many methods as you want provided that the parameters are different or the number of parameters is different either or this is known as method overloading the purpose behind method overloading is to grant flexibility while you are coding in the main method. As you can see here, I do not have to create multiple methods for each data type. I can use the singular method for every data type that I am working with. So the method overloading uh, grants this flexibility. Similar to generics, I should probably add this to the list, though I was thinking of having generics for the intermediate tutorial. I will see how uh, I will see the pace of this course and then I will judge based upon that. And that is it with regards to uh, this uh, video. I hope this lecture uh, was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Fil alameen, innaka hamidun majid.